So the question here, um, we're going to get back into some math-based questions. Um, so how many moles of PCl5 can be produced from 23 grams of P4 with excess uh, Cl2? So first of all, we need to write out a balanced chemical formula. So they gave us the reactants, they gave us the products, but the formula is definitely not balanced. Um, so we're starting with P4 with Cl2. So those two react together to give PCl5. Uh, so now the easiest way to do this is to balance out the chlorines. Um, so we have five on the product side, two on the reactants. So if we multiply the reactants with five, the products with two. Uh, so then that gives us 10 chlorines on each, but now we have two phosphorus and four phosphorus on the reactants. So that number doesn't quite work. So then what we're going to need to do is to multiply this by four. So now we have four phosphorus, four phosphorus. But now we have 20 chlorines on this side. So that means we're gonna have to change this five to a 10 to get 10 chlor or 20 chlorines on the reactant side, 20 on the products. So now what it said in the question, we have 23.0 grams of P4. So I'm going to follow the um, dimensional analysis route that I had done earlier. Um, so we need to turn the grams into moles the first step that you usually have to take with these sorts of questions. Uh, so the molar mass of one phosphorus atom is 30.97, um, but we need, we have four, so we'll just need to quickly multiply 30.97 grams by four. Uh, so now our grams cancel out and we are given moles but we want, we don't need to know the number of moles of P4. That's, we, we need to know it, but that's not our, the end of the question. We need to know how many moles of PCl5. So to do that, we will look at our balanced chemical equation. So this is four moles of P4, or ah, one mole of P4, P4. It's good to keep your, um, the compounds uh, listed. And you'll see why in a second. So if I want to convert moles of P4 to moles of PCl5, we are going to take, so we have four more PCl5 uh, units than we have of P4. So we're going to have four more moles of PCl5 over one mole of P4. So this is why it's important to kind of keep track of your um, your compounds because now I have I can get rid of moles of P4 moles of P4 and then um, if you're going to do that calculation I took it one step further um, so if you just calculated that out that would give you the number of moles of PCl5 but I put it back into grams just to make things a little bit more complicated um, so I had already calculated out the molar mass of PCl5, which is 208.24 grams of PCl5 over one mole PCl5. So that cancels out again. And then the final answer is 154.65 grams of PCl5 comes from when you react 23 grams of P4 with excess Cl2.